Hey guys, it's me and today I am here with a new haul video for you guys. I haven't done a haul video in a very, 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 very long time. But here we are today doing one because why not? These are going to be things that I have purchased over the last several months that I feel like talking to you guys about. And yeah, some of these are recent purchases, but a lot of these are things that I purchased like five six 12 months ago and we're going to talk about them and today we're going to be talking about skincare hair care and makeup and we're just going to be talking about some of my favorite things or like the things that i purchased that have brought me joy and whatnot so that's what we're going to be touching on today we do have quite a good bit to get through and we are going to go a little bit kind of sort of in categories we're going to start out with hair care work our way into skin and then makeup. Now there are some things in terms of hair and skin care that I have purchased that I've already have gone through a lot. So some of these are repurchases, but some of them are first time purchases as well. But before we dive on into this video, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while I'm down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because that'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below, which are in links to my Twitter, Instagram, and my music channel. So if you want to check me out in those places, definitely go do so. And yeah, let's go ahead and hop on into this. So the first item that I want to touch on in the hair category is an item that I desperately need to repurchase, but... I want to get the larger size bottle because you get way more bang for your buck in it, but it's outside of my budget at the moment because I had some unexpected expenses pop up recently. Without going into extreme details and whatnot, I have a medical issue that popped up on me randomly, unexpectedly, and had to go to urgent care and I'm on antibiotics. And so, yeah, that was $230 dealing with like going to urgent care getting a shot and being on antibiotics i desperately need to use this again because i've been noticing my hair has been needing it as well but i'm trying to hold off because i only have one use left of this bottle and i don't know when i'll be able to repurchase a new one but it is the olaplex number three I really like this one. This is the only one from Olaplex that I have used on myself. I know my hair stylist, she'll use Olaplex on me whenever I get my hair done. I'm not sure which one she uses or which ones she uses on me, but I know for me, I use the number three. So the number three, you use this one like at most twice a week on your hair. I will usually use it like once a week, once every other week. And you'll wet your hair put this in your hair and let it sit for at least 10 minutes i usually let it go for about an hour because i'll put it in my hair put on a shower cap and then just soak in the tub for an hour and then shampoo and condition it out as you guys can see i only have but a small amount of this left i typically i typically keep the bottle like this so that way all the product can be at the opening there so yeah but like I said, I only have a one use left. Um, this particular bottle is the original size, which is 3.3 .3 fluid ounces and it's $30. But the big bottle, I think is eight and a half ounces, I think for 60. So you get more than double the amount of product for double the price. So I really want to get that one, especially considering that in like, I went through the first bottle really quickly and I've about to be out of this one like i haven't used it in a month and i'm seeing the results of me not using it in a month something that has been helping my hair out as well that's kind of like holding me over a little bit before i get a new thing of the number three is this leave-in conditioner from briagio and this is the superfoods avocado kiwi mega moisture three and one leave-in spray and i really like this guy I use about maybe nine spritzes on it on my hair in total because how I do it is that I'll do four spritzes on the palm of my hand, rub my hands together, and then do the top portion of my hair, and then I'll do five spritzes and then do the back, and I'll split my back in half, run it through, and then bring all the hair together and run the rest through the rest of it, and then just massage it into the hair gently, and then comb through it with a wide tube comb and let it air dry. And it just makes my hair be nice, smooth, 
and not frizzy at all because with me having color treated hair I've noticed especially since I haven't been using the number three I have noticed that with using this leave-in it just helps to smooth my hair out a bit and makes it to where it's not as frizzy it doesn't look as dry it looks a lot nicer so yeah definitely need to get more than number three because that stuff is a miracle worker i love it but this is definitely something that i'm also going to continue using in my personal because it's really nice now i know you can technically just spray it directly onto the hair i did that before when i initially had it because i had gotten like a deluxe size and gratis some time back but the thing is that, is that when i would spray it onto my hair i noticed that it was a little bit harder for me to gauge as to how much is actually being put into my hair and how much is being sprayed directly onto my neck so it just makes it easier for me to just spritz it onto my hands and then work it into the hair directly like that now the last hair care products that we have here are my shampoo and conditioner i've been using this particular shampoo and conditioner for almost a year now maybe a year now i can't remember but i initially had the standard size bottles which are nine ounces I've gone through them all and I'm now working on my leader bottles that I have here and that is the Purology Hydrate Shampoo Conditioner. So these are the leaders. You have to buy the pump separately but I got these during the leader sale from Ulta um, right at the end of 2022 and they were marked from $85 or $80 can't remember what they originally were but they were marked down to $65 and I had some points so I saved some extra money on them. I had stocked up on standard size bottles because I had tried them out when they went on sale around this time last year in 2022 because they were on a deal where when it came to the standard size bottles it was like buy two for $48 and normally the standard size bottle is just 35 on its own so I was like okay let's like test them out and everything wound up loving it so I stocked up on it was that probably a smart decision when I could have just splurged and bought the liters and everything probably but I was in the throes of my shopping addiction back then so didn't really click in my brain that that would be the smarter choice but I really do love the shampoo and conditioner the standard size bottles those nine ounce bottles would usually last me about a month to a month and a half and I wash my hair generally like every other day sometimes daily depending on how my eczema is behaving because the shampoo and conditioner really helps to soothe my scalp because of my eczema and it's also doesn't like strip out my hair of all of its natural oils as much so my hair stays nice and soft easy to work with and it also makes it to where my colors last a bit longer now obviously these colors didn't last that long but then again i've noticed over the years that blues and greens tend to fade out of me pretty quickly unless it's the punky color alpine green that, that never wants to leave i just dipped into these leaders about a week ago i think and i have learned that my ratio for them is three pumps from each one is enough for me to do my hair really love that shampoo and conditioner is it bougie as hell absolutely but they work for me and i love them now let's dive on into skincare and the first item that i want to touch on it's probably going to be something that might shock people a little bit but i want to talk to you all about sunscreen Yes, I bought this at the beginning of summer of last year, and that is the jug of the Super Goo Play, and this is the SPF 50. Uh, love this stuff. It's a chemical sunscreen. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes, so every two hours if you're out in the water and whatnot, reapply it. But then again, when it comes to your sunscreen, you do need to reapply on a regular basis anyways, just to make sure that you are upkeeping the protection. I really like this. I bought this because over the summer like I said because there was a point multiplier on this particular jug from Ulta and I was just like let's give it a go like one of my old managers raved about this particular sunscreen from them and then too I mean she used to work for Supergoop and everything so I'm gonna take her 
recommendation and get it and I really do love this sunscreen it's really good I also have the unsane sunscreen I've gone through a tube and a half of it really love the Hanson sunscreen but I really do like this one as well this is a really good all over like face and body sunscreen the unseen is just designed for the face and this one is good for face and body and this one is also nice and hydrating as well which I really do love and appreciate and with it being SPF 50 it keeps me from getting burned because I am pale as all get out as you guys can probably tell and not only that but I do have sensitivity to the sun I have sound allergy there's nothing as extreme as say as lupus but it's very much there like if I'm exposed to like sun and heat for too long my eczema starts to break out and yeah also I just burn really quickly and easily especially now while I'm on these antibiotics because they're making my son since they're making my son sensitive to skin exposure wow they're making my skin sensitive to sun exposure so yeah but this is jug right here when I bought it it was $58 so it's definitely not cheap but it's definitely worth it in my opinion I definitely I want to try the spray one because I think in my mind I'm thinking let's use the sky initially and then do touch-ups with the spray that's what I'm thinking but we'll have to wait and see on that um next skincare item that I want to touch on now this particular one is a repurchase well technically no I've never bought this size of this item before, but it is a repurchase of this, and this is going to be my third time purchasing it, and that is the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary, and this is in the larger size bottle. This is the, this is how the size of it on here, the 60 ml or 2 ounce bottle. I had always had to use the um standard size which i can't remember what it is i think it's just like a little over an ounce of product i think but i saw that sephora carries larger sizes and i really do like this hyaluronic acid i've tried out the one from good molecules and um there was one from uh what's that brand called uh glow recipe um they had a serum that had hyaluronic acid in it as well. I've tried those guys out. They're nice. They're not my favorite of all the hyaluronic acids I've tried so far. This one is definitely my favorite. And I really do enjoy it. It's affordable. Gets the job done. And it's really nice. And something to go along with that hyaluronic acid. Because for those of you who don't know. Which I don't need to go in depth as to what hyaluronic acid is going to do for you. Because everybody knows what hyaluronic acid is at this point now here in the skincare world. But a good moisturizer that I really do enjoy is the Tatcha Water Cream. Now I just finished up my jar of the Dewy Skin Cream. Which I love that moisturizer. For a while I thought that my skin had adjusted to it. And it was no longer working for me correctly anymore. But it turns out that it was the hyaluronic acid that I was testing out before from Good Molecules. It just wasn't making it work properly. When I switched over to the one from The Ordinary. It started working properly again. But I wanted to try giving the water cream a go. And seeing if this one worked just as fine as the Dewy Skin Cream. And honestly it does. The Dewy Skin Cream, although it's a really good like heavy moisturizer. And adds a really nice glow to the skin. This one I feel is just as hydrating for me. And although I do love that glass skin look, sometimes it can be a little bit much. <laughs> so I'm just going to settle for this guy now. And if I want to get that glass skin look, then hey, maybe I'll repurchase the Dewy Skin Mist. Because I had the Dewy Skin Mist in a um, travel size that I found in a holiday set at Marshalls. I really liked it. It would just give you like a nice little refresh of hydration but also giving like a bit of a glow to the skin as well so i might purchase that again at some point um not sure when that'll be but it'll happen eventually and then the second to last skincare item that i'm going to touch on for you guys today is one of my favorite skincare items i have gone through a full size of this already i have gone through a travel size of this already and i love it a lot and that is my exfoliator and that is from Dermalogica and it is their milk foliant this product right here 
so nice so wonderful if you've never used these exfoliators from Dermalogica before because I've used all three I have all three I've gone through a full size um, super foliant and a maybe one or two travel sizes of the of that one as well and then I have gone through a full size and one or two travels of the daily microfoliant as well but the Milk Foliant is my favorite of the three because this one works best for dry skin. But they all work in a similar fashion and they start out as dehydrated powders. You put some in the palm of your hand and then you add water, massage your hands together and it gets nice and frothy and then you just massage it onto your face and it'll exfoliate your skin for you. I really do like this guy. Like I said, I've gone through one full size and a travel size already. I just opened up this full size recently and this one is still kind of fairly new. They released this sometime last year. And I really do enjoy it. And there are times where I'll mix this in with the microfoliant. If I feel as if I need a little bit of extra grit, that's actually what I did today uh, when I did my skincare routine. And um, the super foliant, I only use that one, but maybe like once a week, once every other week, because it is quite strong because it has activated charcoal in it. But I'll use that one for like exfoliating, but also with that activated charcoal, it's going to help to pull everything that's like deep in the pores out and everything just so that way you can get like a nice deep clean because this stuff although it is a exfoliator it's also going to help to cleanse the skin as well the last skincare item which ties into the makeup and ties into some fun things is a product that is a repurchase for me so i initially bought a travel size that was part of their holiday release for 2022 and because it was the same size as the standard travel size in that holiday version but the holiday version was on sale whereas the original standard travel size which is the same size as this holiday one was still full price so i was just like let me get this one because play the system wound up loving it i still have that one in my drawer but i went ahead and purchased a full size of this guy because it was part of the spring haul event that ulta just had and it is the vanilla and co clean it zero original cleansing balm this stuff is so nice it is so nice i've used cleansing balms before in the past uh, i've used a couple of different ones and everything like i've used one from good molecules um there are some other ones that I've tried that are escaping me at the moment, but this one, there's something about this one. It's so good. Like it breaks down your makeup so quickly and easily and it's not like super firm or hard or anything because I found that the one from Good Molecules at least was a little too firm, whereas this one is a lot softer and it just breaks down the makeup and melts it down and just helps to clear up that makeup and get rid of it. And so before I go in and put the cleanser, I'll put this guy on and then just go to town, break down the makeup, and then go in and cleanse afterwards to get rid of anything that might still be left on the skin, whether it be makeup or balm that's still left on the skin. But yeah, really do like this product. Really nice. It's affordable and I just really love it. It's really good. Now we're going to get into like the actual makeup. I guess I can start out with the other things that I got out from the spring haul event from Ulta. This item here, I meant to use it today, but I completely forgot to because I was going to do like a full face of first impressions today or a full ish face of first impressions. But the main thing that I was going to be testing and that I did not use. And that is this foundation from Juvia's Place. It is the Natural Radiance Foundation. And I'm really curious about trying this guy out. Like I said, I didn't use it today. I'm in the shade uh, Maracow. I matched myself in Ulta, um, but the store that I was at didn't have the shade available. I'm really curious about trying this guy out. I know there are a lot of mixed reviews on it. I know it's mostly positive and whatnot, but just going based off the reviews, I feel like this is going to be similar, if not better than the Do You Foundation from Too Faced that they released years ago. And I had that foundation and I liked it. Um, 
like back then I really loved it but in present day I don't think that I would enjoy it that much um but just going based off of the reviews so this seems like it would be something fairly similar to it in terms of it having pretty decent coverage but also having some like a natural glow to the skin and it's similarly to that do you foundation has a watermelon scent to it and so yeah i'm gonna try this out next time i play with makeup though and then i picked up quite a few things from ColourPop during spring haul because ColourPop had a deal where it was buy one get one 50 percent off and so i was like okay cool i want to try out some things from them um so i picked up two super super two super shock highlighters and both of these came in a little bit janky and everything so um when i opened them up they look a little bit weird that's because i had to like kind of sort of like reset them this one right here was still in pretty decent condition but it was like shrunken up a little bit this is in smoke and whistles which i've had this one before in a um cheek quad that i had from ColourPop a while back because they had this super shock in one of their cheek quads that they had exclusively on their website for the longest and i know that they have some cheek quads at ulta but they didn't have that particular one that had smoke and whistles in it for some reason so i wanted to give that one a go again and then i picked up stole the show now this one when it came in it was super janky it was super janky like for starters like it had completely shrunken up in the pan so much to the point where it was loose and it was also upside down so all i did was just like i pressed it down and massaged it in and it still felt nice and everything it was just weirdly done for whatever reason but yeah i'm really curious about trying out this color here i think between the two i think i might actually like this one the most i might return this one i don't know just yet i might do it might not i might keep it because uh, Smoke and Whistles is like a pink champagne type tone. Um, and then um, Stole the Show here is like almost like a pale gold. The two other Super Shocks that I got are Lushes. So this one right here is Count Me In, which is described as like a like a yellow pink I think is what they described it as online I don't really trust the color descriptions on Ulta's site because I have purchased quite a few things through their site and the color descriptions tend to be very misleading and everything as you will see in an item that I'll show you guys in a moment but I am really curious about trying this guy out because with it being a little bit more yellow tone and everything I'm curious if it's going to look a little bit more peachy and whatnot and just to try something else out and everything try something different in terms of like colors and blushes because i had something similar to this in a melt palette that i decluttered um but i think this is going to work a lot better for me in terms of my skin tone especially with it being a super shock because the super shocks can be like sheared out the second super shock that i picked up is actually the one that i'm wearing today and that is thanks for the memories and it's just like a nice soft pink I really like it. It's a really soft, really natural, everyday kind of pink shade. Really do like it. Really appreciate it. When it comes to like the pink tone blushes, I like them best when they are like this more like natural, more muted pink tone because a lot of times they can just be a little bit much. And that trend carries on into this one that I have here. This was the first Super Shock blush that I picked up from ColourPop and that is in between the sheets. I've had this guy for a while now. Um, I think maybe close to a year and I've hit pan on it. That is how much I love this one and it is such a beautiful color. It's such a beautiful color. It's a beautiful like neutral pink shade. Goes with everything. I'll usually wear this one whenever I'm doing like bright colorful looks and everything and it is just stunning this guy was a part of spring haul i just want to show it to you because it's another super shock um the next item that i have i got during the 21 days of beauty from ulta and i'm also wearing this guy in my water lines and that is from about face and it is the fix lip pencil in forever flame Ooh, nearly dropped it um and it is just a true red 
pencil liner. And yes, it is a lip liner and I'm wearing it on my waterlines. When it comes to lip liners, 90% of the time, if it's a vegan formula, which this is, they are gonna be eye safe. And I've had this guy in my eyes now for a little bit now, maybe close to an hour now at this point, and it hasn't been bothering me at all. So yeah, and it's also lasting quite well too. So yeah, but just keep it in mind that when it comes to like reds and everything, especially vegan formula reds and everything, that they can have a tendency to stain the eyes and they can also irritate the eyes of people who have sensitivities to red pigments. So just keep that in mind. But I really do like it though. It's really nice, it's really pretty. I've been wanting a red pencil liner to have in my eyes again whatnot and like a red tone that i actually enjoy because i bought three of these as well as one of their um painted lip matte colors um and i returned all three of those because the other two lip liners that i picked up one of them was another bright red but it was too orangey because i was like i'm not sure if i'm gonna want this one here or if i was gonna want that other one and then i picked up like this like ox bloody type shade one and it was all right but it wasn't what i was wanting from it it looked a little bit more berry in tone than it did red and so it just wasn't going to give me what i wanted it to give so i returned those guys as well as the paint it lip color um because that one that I had gotten the color on it was just the color description on it was completely wrong on Ulta's website and it looked like baby shit on me it was not a good time I think it was in the shade slumber I think is what it was called but yeah it was it wasn't a good time but one that I purchased a while back because um Ulta was having a deal where it was I think it was like five times the points on like lip products and everything. I bought this one here and it is in the shade Sad Song, which I love the name of it because it makes me think of a song from Maruv called Sad Song, which I love her music a lot. But the color description of this is like a soft nude pink. This is just straight up like beige. It is beige. There is barely any pink in this. And I remember when I tried it on my lips the first time, I was a bit like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But then I created a makeup look using a, a non sugar pill quad, a ColourPop quad that I've now have decluttered. Um, it's their Gemini quad. Um, and I used this with that look, and it went perfectly with it and it's shockingly really flattering on me like i didn't think that it would be that flattering it's just one of those like really unique kind of like grungy kind of colors and i'm really into it so really happy to have this one and the formula on it is really comfortable i got these two guys on that same particular order as the sad song there and they are two wet and wild liquid lipsticks one of them i am wearing today which is rebel rose this is one of my favorite nudes ever and like dusty rosy nude kind of color i had this in my collection for a while but then when things got really iffy with wet and wild's cruelty free status came about and everything i was just like no and i also had dusty rose from anastasia which i still kind of prefer that one over rebel rose but i still really like this one in terms of like color and formula and i had to throw out rebel not rebel rose dusty rose so i'm just like i'll get this guy again and then the other one that i picked up is um toffee talk which is kind of like a grazy kind of color it's really interesting i'm really excited to give this one a go because I do really like these grazy tones. I really do like the liquid matte catsuit lipsticks from Wet n Wild. Like the formula on it is really comfortable for a liquid to matte lipstick. It is a little bit drier than I remember it being. Because I remember when I first tried these guys out years ago. I remember really loving them and being really, really into them. But... I don't know how I feel about the formula. It's still a good formula, do not get me wrong. It's still a nice formula, but I, 
it's not as good as I remember it being. I guess since we're still on the topic of lips, let's talk about a lip oil. The Ulta Juice and Peace lip oils. I love these. I'm halfway through this one, as you guys can see, and I went through another full size one. Um, so yeah, really love these lip oils. I definitely need to stock up on some more. I should have stocked up on some during the spring sale, but I'm trying to use my um, two ColourPop ones that I still have. So I'm gonna use those guys up first and then I'm gonna finish up this one and then stock up on these because these ones from Ulta, they are so good. Second to last item that I have to haul for you guys that is from Ulta actually, right? Yeah, I think everything else is from like other places that I've gotten things from, but this is from Smashbox and Becca and that is the Brightening Under Eye Corrector in Fair Light. I love this stuff. I use this only on the days when I'm not wearing makeup because whenever I do wear a full face and everything, um, the concealer that I use, which I'll talk about in just a moment, has enough coverage to cover up any darkness that I might have. But on the days when I'm not wearing any makeup and I just wanna brighten up my under eyes, I'll take a small amount of this guy here and then just pop it on the under eyes and I'm good to head out the door. This stuff is so good. I am so happy the Smashbox picked this up because I didn't try this out back when Becca was still around and I remember Samantha Ravindal was like freaking out when Becca announced that they were going out of business because of this product alone but Smashbox came in and saved the day and the concealer that I mentioned that I use is what I'm wearing today and it is the Urban Decay quickie concealer. I have the shade 20 CP. I really like this concealer. I really do. The texture on it is really good. Like even though it has some, like a matte-ish type finish to it, it works really good for my dry skin and it's just wonderful. It's just so good. It's blurring. It's comfortable. It's hydrating and I really like it. I really do. I've put so many people onto this concealer already. It's it's wonderful. I got this guy shortly after I came out, which was, I think it was like right at the end of the year, right at the beginning of the year, somewhere in there. I have a few things that I picked up from the brand LYS, which I believe is Love Your Skin. Um, they are a black owned brand uh, created by a someone who used to work at Pure. Um, I remember from when Rock Beauty Christie did her video covering this brand a while back, but I have their Triple Fix Serum Foundation and I have two shades. And I have the shades LN3 and then LP4. So LP4 is just a little too dark, but it's got the right undertone to it because I have more of like a um, pink neutral-ish undertone, but LN3 I find is closer to my shade, but it's a little too neutral in tone, but mix the two together, it is a match made in heaven. It is wonderful. Like the coverage on it is very customizable. Like today I'd say that I have like medium close to full coverage with it today but I also have been able to get very sheer coverage out of it as well and it's just a really lovely foundation. I really do love it. And then I also have one of their higher standard satin matte cream blushes and this is in the shade Kindness. It's a neutral peach tone. It's really beautiful. I really want to get the shade Confident which is kind of like a like neutral mauve kind of tone. I definitely want to pick that guy up. I know the Sephora sales happening at the moment, but I don't have any play money right now. Before we get into this pile of palettes right here, let's talk about the things that are in this small little stack right here. So I placed an order on Makeup Geek recently. Well, when I say recently, it was about a month ago because uh, it took about three weeks for this to ship out because they are on a massive back order when it comes to shipping products out right now because of the fact that they are going out of business. They're having their final sale right now, which the entire site is 75% off. So if you're interested in trying out Makeup Geek, now's your time to do so, but just keep in mind that majority of their stuff is gone. Four matte shadows, a power pigment, 
a highlighter, a bronzer, and an empty magnetic palette all for about maybe $25 at most. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go over everything, um, starting out with the bronzer because it's in its own separate little compact. Some of them you can get in like a single pan, um, but some of them you had to get in a compact because they didn't have it in an individual pan for this bronzer here, but they had it in the compact. Um, and this is in the shade Sunkissed. I'm wearing it today. It is such a lovely bronzer tone for me because it's light enough to where it's going to work with my skin tone, but it still has enough color to it and warmth to it to where you can actually see it. But it's not super orangey either. It works so beautifully with my skin tone. And then this is the empty magnetic palette that I got from them. Again, I think this is like four bucks, I think. And then here are the shadows and the highlighter I got from them. And so the highlighter I am wearing today and I'm wearing all of the shadows and the pigment today. And I just dunked my finger into a shadow. Okay, cool beans. Here we have Pretty in Pink. This one is Lavender Dreams. This one is Pinky Promise. Then we have what, what, what were you called again? I cannot remember what you were called. Hot Tamale. That is what you are called. This one is Hot Tamale and this is Unleashed. And then this highlighter here is Celestial. And I have that on my cheekbones today. It is a like, I don't want to say a clear base entirely. I feel like it might have just a slight of just a slight bit of a white base to it but it has a purple to pink shift to it it's so pretty it's so pretty i'm not really into like colored highlighters at all but this looks so lovely on the skin and still looks really natural on the skin as well really love how all these perform today like the bronzer performed really nicely the highlighter is lovely um the highlighter has a lot more shine to it than i was expecting it to have it's a little bit more pigmented than i was expecting it being but it's still really beautiful though and easy to work with i wish that they had some blushes available that could probably work for me there is one that might could work but i'm just a little too hesitant to try it out because i do think that it'll be a little too dark for me which is a bummer because i know their blushes people raved about for years and it is sad to see makeup geek go but sometimes like things happen and brands have to go out of business so what can you do i had to open up my bedroom door because it's so hot in here now so if you hear the AC going, I am not sorry. I do not want to die of heat stroke and everything. So, man, the universe is trying to take me out right now and I'm trying to define nature, okay? The first palette that I have to show you guys is from ColourPop and that is the C3PO palette. And I used this in my first video here on this channel. It's a really pretty, like, neutral gold tone type of palette um not super monochromatic but at the same time kind of monochromatic all the shades go really well together i really like it it's a really nice little palette i hope that they release an r2d2 palette at some point i think that one would be really fun and everything just simply because of like how like spot on with the color scheme for c3po they went i do kind of wish that they would have thrown in um like maybe like a gunmetal gray or like a slate gray maybe like some sort of gray shade in here to tie into um how he started out looking in like the prequel trilogy just to pay a nod to it and everything but at the same time it's perfectly fine that it's gold because i mean that's what everybody always thinks of when they think of c3po because i mean he was gold in revenge of the sith and in the original trilogy even in the sequel trilogy who's gold so it makes sense then we have two palettes from melt cosmetics i don't even think that either of these are available anymore but i picked up the bad side zodiac air palette from them 
and this is what it looks like got this because for one I really like the color story and two I am an air sign I'm a Gemini and I really like this palette this is a really beautiful palette I wore this on the last day of my previous job and just really loved how this palette performed I've had a few milk palettes in the past and have decluttered quite a few of them that I've had but this one I think is probably my favorite I really like this one and then we have the palette that I had always wanted from them, but I didn't have the money at the time when it was initially released. And then it was gone forever, but then they brought it back. And that is the Muerte palette. I really am just so happy to have this palette. This is formula wise, it's okay. It's not the most revolutionary formula and whatnot. Cause for me, I just, I just don't really care for Melt's formula that much. It's nice, don't get me wrong, it's a good formula, but it's not as good as people make it out to be, in my opinion. It's not my favorite, it's a little bit more on the drier side, but this color story, I mean, come on. It's such a beautiful color story, and I just really love this palette. It's so beautiful. I'm never going to declutter it because I've wanted this palette for so long. Like they brought it back over the summer and you best believe I was stalking that site to make sure that I could get my grubby little hands on it because like I said, I missed out on it before and I needed it. The next three products that I have here are actually from Kylove, which they were an indie brand formerly known as Muse Beauty and they have sadly have gone out of business. I don't know if they are still operating right now. I'm not entirely sure they are. They were a smaller indie brand and their whole shtick was like classic art, classic paintings, and just, just a really nice aesthetic. And I had always wanted to try them out. I've always been curious about them because Batty being here on YouTube would rave about them, say thing goes for Anila Kaniquis. But I picked up a few things from them um, when they announced that they were going out of business because the entire site, I think, was on like up to 75% off, I believe. And so the first item that I have here, I threw this in with the palettes. It's kind of not a palette because it's a duo, but at the same time, it kind of is. And that is the Color Wash in Youth and Play. And this still has the Music Beauty labeling on it as well and this is the artwork that's on it they had um a palette that went along with this it was the rococo collection but this is what the duo looks like it is a cream blush duo one is a little bit more on the matte side and one's a little bit more on the satin side and these are really beautiful beautiful i've only ever used the youth shade on my cheeks so far but I definitely want to try play out at some point. Beautiful formula. When it comes to me and blushes, I only use cream blushes at this point now, by the way. So yeah, but that one I was initially not going to get. Um, it was marked down to $7 on the site. And then I ordered these two palettes here. And then after I placed the order, like an ad popped up and being like, hey, do you want to add this to your cart for like 50% off, here's a deal for it. So they marked it down to 350. And I was just like, sure, I'll add that on for 350. So yeah. But the two palettes that I initially got from them that I knew that I wanted to get was the Impressionism palette, just as the outer packaging for it. And then the actual color story in it is perfect for spring. Such a beautiful spring palette right here. And I really love the colors in here. You got your neutrals and then just a bunch of like these really just lovely like pastel-ish, some brighter tones in here. It's just a really beautiful palette. I haven't gotten around to playing with either of these palettes yet, but I definitely need to. And this one is the one that I wanted from them for the longest. And like sadly it took a them going out of business for me to finally get it but this is the Le Jardin Volume 2 palette 
and like the packaging on it is really nice but the color story look at this color story it is beautiful beautiful color story i love the tones in here it's just so beautiful and just pretty again i haven't gotten around to playing with it i've swatched some shades out of each palette but i haven't actually played with it on the eyes yet and i am just i am just so ready to just to sink my teeth into that palette in particular so the next palette that we have here is from another like very indie brand and it is the whale song palette from menagerie cosmetics and i had wanted this palette for so long i finally got it when they did a restock over the summer because a little fun fact about me i love whales humpback whales in particular and i also wanted some blues and greens in my collection because i don't have that many or at least i didn't have that many in at the time and the formula on here is really nice for like blues and everything the mattes in here are really nice the metallics in here are so lovely they're so lovely i really enjoyed this palette i need to break it out again because i've only have used it once so far so i need to play around with it a bit more but then again this palette is more so like a collector's item for me because it's something that i wanted for such a long time and i finally have it in my collection this next palette is a recent addition to my makeup collection and it's such a strange palette but i actually really do enjoy it and it is from glam light it was my first time trying them out and it is the Frosted Flakes palette. Yes, they did a collaboration with Frosted Flakes. And I remember um, Angelica Nikfis just raving about this palette. She said this was one of her favorite palettes from, I think, 2022. And this is the color story. It is such a good color story. You get like these really good warm tone neutrals and then these really nice blues. I created such a stunning look using this. It was a two toned eye to a degree where on one eye i did blues up top and then the neutrals on the bottom and then on the other eye i did neutrals on top blues on the bottom and the blue up top look that i did holy tits stunning i really do like the formula on this guy the same day that i picked this guy up because i found this at tj maxx so yeah but the same day that i picked this guy up i also had picked up um a different glam light palette it was the blue icy palette but i wound up returning it because when i actually got done looking at the color story in this palette and compared it to that blue icy palette i was like they're so similar and i know with having a monochromatic palette i'm not going to reach for it nearly as often as something that's going to have a little bit more variation to it so i figured i would keep this one and i just simply returned that one to tj maxx i didn't even use it i returned it the next day so yeah but really do like this one and the last palette that i have and the last item that i have in this haul video this is not a new product by any means but it went on sale on sephora site i think during the fall and i decided to get it and that is the new nude palette from huda beauty i really like this palette I like these kinds of tones, like these like mauvey, rosy, dusty kind of tones and everything. It is by no means a revolutionary palette. It does have two pressed glitters in here, which I am annoyed about because when I used this palette for the first time, which I've only had to use it once so far, I used the Excite shade here. Stunning color, stunning glitter, but oh my god god does the glitter not want to leave you for an eternity like like it's like how people say like glitter is the herpes of the arts world like once you use it you're never not gonna find it but i've used huda beauty palettes before in the past i had the pastel rose obsessions palette decluttered it and then i also had the light nude obsessions palette and i had to throw that one away <laughs> um yeah all the metallics in that one when i ordered that palette when it showed up all the metallics are completely shattered i managed to doctor it and save it but it was so far gone like the slightest tap on it and the metallics would fall apart again so i just had to throw it out 
and everything. Um, and I also had the Mercury Retrograde palette. And again, got her that one just simply because it was a good palette. I really enjoy it. It's just that I wasn't reaching for it enough. But I know this particular palette, I know that I can get some good use out of it because I like these like tones and everything like these dusty rosy mauvey type of tones and everything i'm a big fan of them so i know that i'll get some use out of this palette but if i had the choice between this and the light nude obsessions i would probably still go with the light nude obsessions and 73 years later we are finally done with this whole video i got through this pretty quickly it's probably still gonna be a long video so i do apologize for that i know that the exposure changed on this quite a good bit throughout this video i don't know why exactly i think it might be my hair with it being so light and everything i think that might be setting off the exposure i don't know i don't know this this camera is old and dodgy and everything i don't know i need to get a better camera but it's not in my budget anytime soon i always like watching haul videos because they're just like chill little videos to watch and everything and that's why i also like filming them because they're just chill little videos to do but until I see you guys in my next video, whatever that might be, bye.